Well, uh, we want to welcome everyone here to this uh, historic day. It's historic in the life of the state of Mississippi. It's historic in the life of the United States of America because we're here today to talk about one of the greatest threats that Mississippi agriculture faces, and for that matter, agriculture in our country. Before we do that, I want to say that our thoughts and prayers are with the uh, folks that are being affected by Hurricane Laura. The uh, tragedy of this hurricane, the, the size of it, no one could have predicted. Uh, we're thankful it's uh, not as bad as it could have been. It appears that way anyway. And here at the fairgrounds, we are uh, offering to anyone affected by these storms, the hurricane itself or the tornadoes that are being spent out, uh, if for any farms that have been affected, and livestock, and horses in particular, uh, if someone needs temporary shelter for their animals, they can bring them here to the Mississippi Fairgrounds. We are uh, operating, we've always been operating, we've never shut down during this virus, and we have a whole a host of barns full of stalls for temporary shelter for livestock for uh, horses affected by this hurricane. I want to get the word out about that. Michael Lassiter is here. Wave out of Michael, he's our director, and his telephone number is 601-961-4000. For anyone affected by these storms here in Mississippi or uh, in uh, Louisiana and Texas. Matter of fact, this morning, I reached out to our my counterparts in Louisiana, Com Commissioner uh, uh, Mike Strain and Commissioner Sid Miller in Texas and offered to them our assistance, and they were mighty appreciative but we are praying for those in the path of this storm and in the wake of the storm during the cleanup. It's going to be a lot of work involved as we move ahead. So one more time, for anyone affected by the storms, uh, livestock, horses in particular, we have temporary shelter available here at the fairgrounds. Many people don't realize this fairgrounds is an uh, emergency disaster response staging area. And so uh, we do everything we can. We did so during the virus. And we're doing so now to make sure uh, we're responding and we want to help our neighbors. That's what Mississippi does. Y'all agree with that? Amen. Well, uh, thank you for being here today. As I mentioned, I want to say that uh, it is a historic day for Mississippi. I want to welcome you here to the Kirk Fordyce Equine Center. Now, I knew Kirk Fordyce before he died, and uh, I have to believe he'd be proud about what we're going to do here today. We have uh, a program that we want to announce. It's been over a year in the making. And uh, in fact, it's been two years as I've been thinking about this. And since I've been commissioner, learned about the, the, the destruction, the disease ridden, the, the deadly infestation of feral wild hogs in the state of Mississippi. And there's been study after study after study done and we thank the Lord for all those studies and uh, the work that's already going on by Mississippi State University, our other partners for the, for the research that has gone on, for the work of Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks. Uh, they're here today. Thank you for being here. And for the uh, work of the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation that's here today also. And as we thought about this issue, the bottom line is uh, we already know what this problem is. We've studied it enough. We've talked about it enough, and now the time has come to do something about it and kill some hogs. That's what we're going to do through the Mississippi Department of Agriculture and Commerce Wild Hog Control Program. Now, this program is unlike anything that exists in the United States of America today. As far as we know, this is the first State Department of Agriculture-led program with intensive trapping systematic trapping that will rotate throughout the state of Mississippi, a statewide basis, to focus on these invasive pests. The, the, you know, in the Bible days, the, the plague of locusts was what farmers feel, lo, feared. Locusts that would come in and eat the crop and destroy the, the future and the hope of farmers back in Bible times. We have our own kind of locust here in Mississippi. They're feral wild hogs, and they are a problem. I've been to Texas. And I can tell you, we've got it bad here in Mississippi, but there's some places in Texas it's even worse. And we don't want that to happen here in our state. We want to get ahead of this. We want to stay on top of it, and we want to kill some hogs, not by the dozens, but by the thousands and tens of thousands. And I want to say, as a Mississippian, I'm proud to be from Mississippi. Are y'all? I'm proud that this program is the first of its kind in the country. 
I'm proud that we're using Mississippi uh, designed and built traps. The number one trap selling in the country today is manufactured in Crawford, Mississippi in, in Senator Chuck Younger's district. He's going to be up here in a minute. And the hog eye camera system is genuine Mississippi. Y'all proud about that? I am. You can thank them when you see them. And uh, when we think about addressing problems in our state, when we think about getting to work and actually doing what needs to be done to address the issues in our state, let's never forget no one person, no one agency can do it by themselves. It takes a team. Like a, a single horse can't pull near about as much as a team of horses. Y'all know that? That's common sense. And so when we face a problem, we need teamwork and pulling the same direction, not pulling apart. And I want to thank the Mississippi legislature for their support because we could not have done this without our legislature stepping in and authorizing this great program through the uh, legislation passed earlier this year, the future of Mississippi agriculture. We have with us today two special guests. I want to recognize each one of them one at a time if you would like to come to say a few words. Uh, both chairmen of our agriculture committees in the legislature, Chairman Bill Pigott, in the Mississippi House of Representatives, and Chairman Chuck Younger. Would both of you come up here and just say a few words? And I want to thank you personally. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. It's an honor to be here today. Uh, I'm proud of Mississippi for taking this first step because wild hogs has got to be an epidemic all over the state of Mississippi. It's probably the worst fear that the farmer has right now is to control wild hogs. And this program, which the commissioner says is the first in the nation, I'm proud to have a part in this. It probably is the best project the legislature has done for farmers in Mississippi since I've been there. And I appreciate that. I want to thank the rest of my legislature and my counterparts in the Senate for helping. So I think this is a great program, and, I, and we just need to move forward with it. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. This is a wonderful thing that we did pass in the legislature. Um, it's not every day that you can see something like this with technology catching wild hogs. And the, the camera system is made in Crawford, Mississippi. I believe it's made by Wildlife Dominion. That's my district, and I'm very proud of that. Um, besides the weather, the hog probably is the worst thing that can hurt a farmer. There's many things that can hurt a farmer. The price of our, the stuff that we sell, the soybeans and corn and cotton, price isn't looking real good right now, but it is improving. And um, the wild hogs have really been a terror on the farmers, especially in the corns and soybeans. They just tear up everything. And I just want to thank the commissioner for getting us all here together today. And I want to thank my counterpart, Chairman Pigott. We, um, we like to work together on these kind of things. When you can pass a bill that will help all of Mississippi, that's what it's all about. Thank you all. This will help all of Mississippi as we have been working on this now for over a year. You may recall a year ago we launched a program known as the Commissioner's Wild Hog Challenge. I was able to announce that at last year's uh, 2019 Neshoba County Fair. And what a tremendous response it was. But there's a reason that we did that. We needed the people of Mississippi to understand the, the destruction and the disease and the death that these hogs bring to our state. You know, in Mississippi today, hogs of this nature, wild hogs running wild, running rampant over our state, do $63 million worth of damage every single year. Since this began a year ago, I've been contacted not only by farmers, mostly by farmers, but also by citizens who see these hogs destroying our roads. I saw, I've got a picture in my office of a hog route up under a main thoroughfare where they have basically destroyed a road system in southwest Mississippi. Another lady 
had hogs come. She lives out in the country like I do, and she had hogs coming up in her backyard, and now they've rooted under her home and destroying her foundation. This is a crisis, and we've got to do something about it. And so I want to give you just some quick points about how this program works and why it's so unique. Uh, the the uh, Wild Hog Control Program, I've got to thank Chris McDonald in my office here. Uh, Chris has uh, been working with us on this, and he's going to be overseeing this. And let me give you very simply how it's going to work. Uh, we have, as you see to my left over here, we have acquired uh, the first in uh, a convoy of hog trapping systems. As I mentioned, we're proud these are made in Mississippi, designed in Mississippi, and they are genuine Mississippi members, by the way. And these traps are state of the art. They are highly effective. This is the number one trap sold in the United States of America today. And just the other night in our beta test system, Friday night we caught 18 hogs at one time and reset the trap and caught another 17 the, the later part of that night. These traps are effective. And what we're going to do is, as we have developed a master uh, account over the, uh, the uh, wild hog control program traps, we have multitudes of traps that will go on those trailers right over there. And we have been authorized by the legislature, and I do thank you again, to work and to provide technical assistance and outreach on private agriculture and forestry lands. You know, there's no way we could hire enough people to run all these traps, but farmers know how to do it. Y'all believe that? Farmers can get it done. And I can tell you this, if I can understand how to set it up, and I'll got trained in this very building the other day, then anybody can understand how to set it up, and we're going to show you how it works in just a moment. But uh, we are going to engage in working with our partners at, at Mississippi State, at Wildlife, uh, and uh, with uh, APHIS, USDA APHIS. We're going to identify, first of all, the hot spots, where these hogs are. We already have a pretty good idea on private farmlands, agriculture and forestry lands. And we're going to take applications from farmers who want to trap for 30 days at a time, intensive trapping. And we're gonna teach them how to do it. And we're gonna take that trap to their farm and set it up where the hogs are. And we're gonna trap them and we're gonna get rid of them. That's what we're gonna do all across the state of Mississippi. This is a statewide program, the first of its kind in America. And we're proud to be taking the lead here in Mississippi. We hope and we believe this will become a prototype for the rest of the country. We believe all of America needs to be buying hog eye uh, wildlife dominion traps. Y'all agree with that? Yeah, all across this country and uh, trapping these hogs wherever they may be found. Now we could not do this without the support and the friendship of our dear friends at Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. I want to invite uh, the president of that great organization, President Mike McCormick, to come up here and say a few words because they have not only talked about it, but they have lended their active support throughout this process as we were working on the legislation and then actually in acquiring this convoy of traps that we are soon deploying. So, uh, President McCormick, would you come and say a few words? Well, thank you, Commissioner. It's been a great honor of ours to be a partner with you on so many good things that are going on in agriculture here in the state, but I don't know that we've done anything uh, that will be in more important than uh, being a part and supporters of this wild hog program that you're leading the effort on. Uh, we certainly could not be here today without the support of our friends in the legislature, uh, Chairman uh, Chuck Younger on the Senate side and Chairman Bill Pigott on the House side, and their committee members are, are vitally important to agriculture here in the state of Mississippi. It is our number one industry, and it wouldn't be that without the great support of our friends uh, in the legislature. And I want to thank them for all that they've done. This wouldn't be possible without them. Uh, I get a chance to uh, go to all 82 counties of the state and talk to our farmers about the issues that are affecting them on their farms uh, and uh, their, their ranches all over the state of Mississippi. And I very rarely go into one of those places, one of those counties that this isn't one of the top two or three things that they talk to me about. What are we going to do about the, the, the damage that we're uh, receiving from these wild hogs? We know that we can't stop them from being uh, coming into the state of Mississippi. They're already here. Uh, we know that uh, it's, a, it's futile probably to, 
to eradicate them, but we also know that we've got to start uh, and uh, a control effort uh, with the best tools available that we can possibly have. And uh, talking, uh, I'm talking to you from someone that knows I have uh, wild hogs problems on my farm. Uh, I bought one of these uh, camera traps uh, a while back, and been very successful. We're catching them weekly on my farm with these, so I have no doubt in my mind this is the direction that we need to go. This is the only means uh, uh, possible that we have to, uh, to have a control effort on this invasive species uh, for our farmers and landowners here in the state of Mississippi. So, Commissioner, thank you again for all you do, but especially thank you for this program that we think will make a huge impact for our members, our farmers all over the state of Mississippi. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. We couldn't do it without you, and I uh, really appreciate your support in helping us to acquire these traps. And uh, we are excited to get to work. Now, as I stand here today, we already are deploying, and we have already caught and disposed of dozens and dozens of hogs in southwest Mississippi. Uh, on Friday night, we set a trap, and within one hour, a hog appeared out of the woods and got interested in the feed in there. And that night, we caught him and 18 of his buddies. How about that? And then later that same night, another 17 in the same location. So we've already had results with this, and we had not even started yet. And we have video of all that activity. We're going to show you right now just a little bit of video about how this works. And uh, the process of it is so critical. First of all, I want to emphasize this. As we train our farmers, and we've already been doing that for the last several days, we're going to continue beta testing through the end of September. We will launch this program and accept applications from farmers, from ranchers, from landowners uh, it, toward the end of September. We have a website built on our website about it, and so you get ready. But our focus is to train farmers on how to effectively do this. One of the main risks is you don't want to set the trap too quickly because if you let those hogs come in there two or three nights, they'll bring all their buddies with them, and you'll catch a whole lot more than if you just dropped and caught two or three at a time. And so one way to effectively do that is to, to pre-bait these hogs, get them coming to a location, then we can come, set the trap up, show the farmer, hook it to his smartphone or his grandson's or her grandson's smartphone, and they will then take control of it and take care of the rest. So let's show them just a little bit of the of the uh, wild hog control program at work. We've got a video over here of actual footage from Friday and Saturday uh, night. So who's going to do that for us? It's going. It's going. While it's going, I would add this. This trap will work anywhere in Mississippi where you get one bar of 3G coverage on your phone. Anywhere that a cell phone gets one bar of 3G coverage, this trap will work. And you see when the trap drops, business picks up right there. I wanted to demonstrate for you um, in this building, in the Kirk Fordyce Equine Center, how the trap actually does work anywhere. And uh, I thought about bringing a real hog in here, but then it occurred to me we didn't want him getting loose on the streets of downtown Jackson, Mississippi. So we got a picture of one in there. And I'm going to ask uh, Chris, if you come up here, it's set up, it's live. Now, anywhere in the world, this camera, a smart camera made here in Mississippi and can design here in Mississippi, it connects to anyone's smart device, an iPhone, an iPad, and anywhere you are in the world. When you get movement in that trap, it's going to notify you that you've got a hog in there or something in there. And then you take a look at it. You take a look. And uh, when you get ready to drop it, you drop it. How about that? Just within seconds, fractions of a second. You can do that from 10 buck too. If you're on vacation, you can trap them. So what I want you to see today is this is historic. It is never before done. And I want to thank the legislature, our chairman, Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation, and your Mississippi Department of Agriculture and Commerce. We're going to get it done. Thank you all. God bless you. We'll be around for questions later. Thank you all.